Hey, it's Matt from the Green Arcade, back playing some more Minecraft. Uh, we are trapped in the caves here, trying to find our way out. Um, there's a zombie right down below me here. Let's take care of him. If we can reach him. Can't really reach him. Let's just go down and say hi. Hey there! Gotcha. There's another one down there somewhere. We've got to find a cave that takes us out. And we're just not finding one. We've got a full boat of uh, resources here. Let's see if this takes us out. If not, we may have to mine our way out. Oh, I hate these bats. They Come here. Come here. Come on back. You're going to keep bugging me? I'm going to bug you. And I think we just came full circle. Ha! Ah. All right, well, let's go up there. See where that takes us. Oh, you know what? We're back in this uh, canyon deal. Uh, I think we're full on iron, are we? Gold ore. Iron ore. No, we, we can actually take some iron, so we'll take it while we're here. While we see it. Uh, you know what? I may actually have, have came from that way. Hey, look. Hey, that looks like daylight. We may be saved. Let's get a little closer to it, and then we'll just build straight up to it. We've got to be careful because there's plenty of holes to fall in around here. Like that one. A lot of stuff down here. A lot of monsters. Uh, where's that light at? There it is. That's got to be daylight, right? So we're going to go straight up. Hope we got enough cobble. Let's light it up a little bit. Plenty of zombie noises. Looks like it's another cave up here. We're going to have to be careful. Yeah, I see another zombie over there. We're going to have to be careful. Alright. Yeah, we're in another cave. Alright. Let's light this up. Oh my gosh, there's monsters back there. Light it up where we can see them. One's a creeper. Roll the zombie up. Blow the zombie up! Blow the zombie up! Ah! Whew. You know, I do believe this game is going to give me gray hair. More gray hair. I actually have a couple. Uh, where's that daylight at? Is that daylight? Yes, it's daylight. We're saved! <laughs> uh, let's just build up from where we were building up, I think. I think we can go straight up from here, yeah. At least it's daytime, we know that. Alright. We are out of here. I wonder how far we are. Or where we are. Oh, there's water. That's a problem. I must have come up on a pond or something. Yeah, I did. Came out of the water, straight out of the water. So let's fix this. And what we'll do is we'll light this up. I don't even know where I'm at. Hey, I do now. I'm across the river. There's our castle right over there. All right, we're going to light this up so we can get back down in there. So we know it's here. Alright, let's get back home. I think the sun's going down. I 
Well, that was exciting. If you uh, missed the uh, previous, what, two or three episodes there, go back and watch them. We had a lot of fun with a lot of monsters and uh, got lost. It's easy to get lost in those cave systems. You know, we need a front door, like right there. One more front door. So yeah, uh, I'll show you this real quick while we got enough daylight left. Uh, a lot of trees were out here. We cut those down and um, we've uh, started uh, collecting them. Hey, you can see that really well over there. I lit that up pretty good. Um, so we cut a lot of trees down. Uh, been doing some work on the castle here and we'll show you what we've been doing in the meantime. Uh, so this is uh, our wood area. Need to put some signs up and some labels. These are spruce. Uh, planks and uh, saplings uh, basically this is the wood wing uh, so yeah this is spruce wood and this is spruce or the beginning of another chest of spruce so what I'm going to do is just going to be a, a mirror of itself so I've got dark oak in here there's going to be dark oak over there and uh, i got oak in there going to be oak over there so on and so forth so forth um, Going to get the jungle wood eventually, and uh, we'll put acacia wood down here too. Um, got this one as a uh, tool chest. Uh, you'll notice that uh, there's a little bit of change here. Um, I got to working on the floors again, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put, since I've got the spruce doors on the ground floor, I'm just going to put spruce flooring in. Uh, makes it simple. And uh, the second floor, you can pretty much guess, that's dark oak right there. Uh, this is birch, which I put in first, but this is dark oak, and I put dark oak doors on the second floor. Um, then it goes up a little bit further. Um, I'm going to replace all this with dark oak. And uh, what is this? This is just plain oak, I think. So this whole third floor will be plain oak. Got to get rid of that dark oak there. Um... And then the fourth floor will be birch. And uh, I've been working on it. See, this is an oak door, so we're going to have oak flooring here. And uh, I think further up, yeah, there's a birch door, so this will be birch flooring here once we get it finished. Um, so, been building up, uh, moving on up uh, to the north side, uh, ironically, though. So, um, I did light that up pretty good over there. You can see it way over there. See it? But anyway, uh, basically, I'm kind of skeptical about the doors because I think the spruce door is the strongest. It looks the strongest. Uh, then the uh, dark oak. And then when you start with the oak door, it actually has windows in it, so I don't think it would be as strong. And then you got the birch door, which has this big window thing, and, you know, anybody could just break in that thing. So I put the weaker stuff on top. And uh, I can go on up if I want to with the jungle wood and the acacia wood, and uh, I could even start over again and start using some of the other types of wood so uh, uh, yeah we'll show you what we've been doing here let's uh, head back down I guess I could go ahead and show you this lava thing uh, while I'm up here on one of these top floors this one will work so what I did I got some buckets and uh, built this big trench and it's it's single it's got a single level of lava right there but down there I started a double level and I think I'm going to tear this down. Um, what I'm going to do... Um, let's go ahead and put this stuff in here. Alright. Need to finish the uh, wall enclosure here. Uh, going down to the ground level here. I uh, got rid of these furnaces over there and put the do another door in. Um, got our... Cobblestone, this is the uh, cobblestone wing. All that, all of this is going to be cobblestone. All of that's going to be stone brick. Um, just got to replace the flooring in the roof. But uh, what else was I going to show you? Oh, yeah, let's go outside. Well, it's dark outside. Let me sleep. Sleep until morning. All right. Go outside, check for creepers. There's one over there. Don't blow up. Okay, I think we're good now. 
So, let me go back up to the second level. I think I can see it better up there. What is that? There's something green hanging through my door. Looks like a zombie. Let's fight. Come on in, zombie. Gotcha. Alright. Now let's go back up to the second level. So yeah, this is starting to look more like a castle to me. So what I did was I, I got the plan around with it and I actually started on the front side of the castle over there and just started, yeah, I started a garden too. Um, I started on the front side way over there and I just started messing with blocks and then I placed these blocks just to see how it, how it would look and I got to looking on the outside and it didn't really look like a castle. So I started adding blocks to it and... Um, yeah, now it looks now it looks more like a like a castle wall, you know, like the little perch they have. Um, but see that over there? That that just didn't look too much like a castle. Uh, but this is starting to look uh, a little bit more like it. Let's go show you the garden. And I'm just gonna jump down here. I uh, got some pumpkins uh, growing here, and actually those are growing way out there because my wall is gonna be right here. Gonna put a wall right here on top of this cobblestone. I got carrots and wheat and uh, pumpkins and uh, I think that's it. I don't have any potatoes yet. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna fill all this in with dirt and fill this in with dirt. And actually, this cobblestone area here is gonna be either a storage area for. Um, food like wheat and pumpkins and seeds and stuff like that and animal stuff you know like horse stuff and all that so it may be uh, part uh, shed part animal enclosure haven't decided yet uh, just to put the frame of it up to match the uh, wall there um, what else have we done I think that's pretty much it Other than this lava pit, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have, gonna have, I decided to replace the flooring, so I'm gonna have to replace all that birch wood plank around the edges that I put up. So uh, we'll do a little bit of that later. But yeah, I got this uh, lava in here, and uh, basically, I was gonna store the lava out here and just come out here with a bucket and then go back inside and put it in a furnace. But what I think I'm gonna do now, though. I discovered you can actually store the lava in the chest in a bucket so I'll probably have one chest one whole chest and I tried it with water too to see if it would work uh, actually I had to bring some water in for the garden area and uh, the empty buckets stack but uh, these full buckets don't so what I'll do is probably just make a whole chest full of lava buckets and then a whole chest full of water uh, and I may put the water outside since it pertains to do with gardening uh, that way I can bring a lava bucket in, uh, just like this one here. Go ahead and take it out. And see, there's no fuel there, so I'll put the lava bucket in. And what do we got? We'll put some gold in there. And that way, you can put that in there, and uh, it lasts longer than the coal. And we can save the coal for torches. Uh, exclusive to torches. So what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to put uh, coal in a chest with some sticks. I'm out of sticks. May even put uh, one of these batches of torches in there just to show what I'm going to do with it. So uh, we'll have a chest here for torches and sticks. Got a chest for tools and uh, picks and stuff like that. And uh, we've got empty chests for other stuff uh, at a later point. Uh, I guess I could get just all exclusive, you know, picks, swords, axes, shovels. Uh, could do that. Um, these have dirt in them. And these are still my anything. You can see where the wall was because the wall was right here for the original structure that I built. Um, but yeah, these have uh, just a whole mixture of junk in them. 
like I said, a lot of the stuff can come out, the horse stuff, the seeds, pumpkins, the, even the food. We can put the food in a, another area and uh, actually may put the food over here where the dirt's at and move the dirt to another location. Uh, that way you can have your kitchen area over here, so to speak, and uh, have your tools and torches and all your, all your necessity stuff in here where the where the bed's at and um i may redesign this i may wall this off or something like that just to keep it you know like a private area or something but um yeah this is going to be uh the hall here where we're going to have uh all types of different resources we're going to start with cobblestone here and here we may put dirt or something uh we may actually put dirt outside I haven't Got to make some decisions. Because we really don't need dirt inside. The only time we need dirt is outside in the garden. Or if we're going to work uh, outside, outside. Like um, out here where we cut these trees. We may fill in a lot of these holes with dirt. And try to make it more even and flat. And then we're going to replant trees out here actually. So we're going to probably uh, level this out out here. And there's dirt to work with. So I mean... Um, we also want to kind of work on the landscaping here and make the steps up to the walls even. It's just going to be dirt steps. I don't, we'll mine all the stone out over there and probably just do dirt steps. Uh, and we may, you know, we could do stone steps. We can make stone now. So, I uh, haven't decided yet. But uh, we want to make them even all the way down to uh, to the plains here. And what I'd really like to do is get it down to level 64, down to sea level. So we probably could ex excavate a lot of this out. Where's sea level? It's on down here where the water is at. That's 67. It's not that far down. We'd have to cut the, re the remainder of these trees. But that's not a problem because we're going to replant them. Yeah, here we go. Alright, see this is 64. This is sea level. And we're actually... We've actually got a tunnel that we've started at level 64 down in the mine shaft uh, that'll come straight out to this river um, somewhere at some point. I don't know where the exit will be yet, but we'll we'll break ground on that and uh, start working on that. We need to get some sand for our garden. Um, so that we can grow, uh, what is that, sugar cane? You have to have sand for that. So, yeah, we'll excavate all this out. And there's plenty of uh, stuff that we got to work on in it, too. Um, a lot of little caves and pools and stuff like that. So, it's going to take a little time. So, we'll play, we'll, we'll probably definitely play a little bit of this off camera. Because uh, you don't want to see me dig out all of this. Trust me. It would just be me digging. Um, so we'll bring you the somewhat finished product. Of course, I, I say that. This is a project in its own. I've started all these projects up here at the castle. Did I leave my door open? I sure did. I've got all these projects in here that need to be worked on and need to be finished first. Um, need to finish the interior of the castle. Need to tear down the lava... Uh, I guess that's a ditch that I made in here. Um, need to finish this. Mainly, want to get at least this finished. Um, up to the fourth floor. And if we got that finished, uh, we could actually work on this out here later. And, uh, we can work on our garden some more. Expand it. Um, wish we had more stuff to grow. Uh, like um, potatoes and stuff like that. So we may have to do some more map ex map exploration. Uh, now that we have uh, redstone and uh, we're going to get some sand and grow some uh, sugar cane for paper, uh, we'll be able to make uh, some new maps. So uh, we'll uh, go up to the front door here and watch the sunset. Be a perfect way to end the episode here. All right, so we cut more trees out here, more trees down there were cut. Uh, 
we're getting along uh, with this map here. Done a lot since we started, and uh, we'll continue it on. So until next time, remember you reap what you sow. It's Matt from the Grain Arcade here in Minecraft.